What's up, uh, people of YouTube? So any of you uh, that are regular viewers of this channel, and you do get to watch all the video, <laughs> unlike a lot, uh, you'll find that some of my how-tos and fault diagnosis uh, videos are quite handy, and they have helped some people out. Uh, I can see that by the amount of likes they get. Uh, the 1JZ engine seems to be the most popular followed by the uh, Toyota 5L, but I also do quite a few on the old donkey here, the uh, CRF250, and here's a new one. So, I've been experiencing, well, um, ever since I've had the bike, it will start playing up on me. Uh, and the usual symptoms, shall I say electrically, the usual symptoms is, um, I'll start getting a random misfire at high revs, um, followed by eventually the bike will just conk out, or I'll get a battery flat. Now, what it is, is a build-up of corrosion underneath the battery terminals. Now, I've not had that on any other batteries that I've bought, but this uh, MFR <laughs> is... Um, quite good for it I've had three or four incidences now where I've had to uh, stop on the trail well I've actually uh, I've lost power I've actually put videos up where I've lost power in the middle of nowhere and I've got used to it now you've got to take these terminals off scrape them clean off any it just goes gray it doesn't go all frosty and flaky like normal uh, battery corrosion it's not like acid because this is a sealed battery um, but it is some sort of oxide layer that builds up in behind the back of the terminals, even though I've put the uh, AFC aircraft protectant and antioxidant and special greases, I've used all that stuff, but it still keeps doing it. So anyway, we broke down again yesterday. Um, well, actually two weeks ago we broke down. I suddenly didn't have any battery power left. The, uh, the bike wouldn't start. I had to bump start it a few times. When I started bump starting it, I thought, oh, wait a minute, I know what this is. The terminals are gone again. So I did the terminals, and sure enough, it charged the battery back up in no time at all. Well, anyway, yesterday it started doing it again. I'm trying to speak fast here to fit it all into a short video. But yesterday, he started playing up again, so I cleaned the terminals again. And uh, it kind of did charge up, but it's not been the same. It's just not really topping the battery right up. So either the battery's failing because he's a few years old now and he's had a lot of abuse or there's something else going on so just now I fired the bike up and ran it for just about a minute and uh, as I went to check the terminals I could actually feel heat on my finger so up inside the rubber condom here the yellow wires are the three wires from your alternator that was red hot now, that's quite a common thing on motorcycles. Quite often, you go on YouTube, no need for me to put anything up, but you go on YouTube, you'll find loads of videos where that plug just catches fire and it melts because it gets overheated. Well, generally speaking, it's usually because of oxidization and bad connections on that plug there. And moving over. Where's it gone? Oh, there it is. To the rectifier side, that plug there and the wire in there was also red hot. So it could have high resistance bad connections in there. Well, I've just done a check on the uh, rectifier and all the diodes are okay. You can find a video of that on YouTube. But the other main concern, and I have said about this before, is there's a bunch of earths just here. See this bunch of earths? Well, look at the state and I clean this mofo every time I service the bike I clean this thing but you've got a bunch of earths there that are really corroded up and if you look at the connection on the frame which I've already sanded can you see the get really bad corroded eaten in bits there right so that's not really making a good contact despite me sanding it off already but that's not so important what's important is what goes on around the back there because that's all got to make contact right the way through now you could just assume by going down here 
you could assume when it focuses there you go you would assume you'd be getting enough contact through that and the threads but nay nay and thrice nay it might not be enough so what we're going to do is we're going to have to have that bloody frame tube thing off again sand in behind there in between these two sand that down flat sand that down clean and that side have a good scrub round on that bolt put it all back together and see what's happening then so there you go if you're having problems with your bike cranking over and you go and change the battery and you still have problems with it cranking over that's what you might need to look for later then